to Sun Sand Repeat. Sun Sand yes, Repeat. Sun Cheers. Sand Repeat. Cheers. 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 So this is our life. Four kids, two cats, a widowed father under our roof, and a dog named Booker. How do we make it through? The sunny days. This is life through our eyes. This weekend was one for the bucket list. Nothing, I mean nothing, could have prepared me for the sheer beauty and enjoyment we found in the Apostle Islands over the weekend. We made this a couple's trip. We came up here with our close friends, Bruce and Missy. This is the story of how we found relaxation during a world of chaos. We brought the boat and the RV up and we stayed at the Buffalo Bay Campground in Red Cliff, Wisconsin, just north of Bayfield. Nervous because this was in fact the very first time ever launching the boat from the RV. Not that it's that much different from an SUV, but it's an RV. And backing it into the water yeah, makes you a little nervous. But it went just fine. So now it was time to park the boat in the slip that we rented. And go find our campsite. Yeah. The Buffalo Bay Campground has some very picturesque sites right by the water. But even reserving the site a month in advance, we got the very last spot, and it happened to be in the very back of the campground. Nonetheless, it still had a view of the lake. After a good night's sleep, nothing beats the sound and smell of breakfast. We had a big day planned and weren't really sure where the day's adventure would take us.
Yes, Armoria Boat is a 21-foot cruiser, and this is Lake Superior, a huge lake. Looking around, we are in fact the smallest boat on the lake. But when the conditions are right, it's like glass out here. And even though we did hit some big swells in the wind, this boat did fantastic. Some may say I'm brave to do this. Others may just call me crazy. But one step short of crazy, what do you get? No, not obsessed. Passionate. The first stop was just a few miles down the shoreline to picturesque Bayfield, Wisconsin. The public docks were free of charge during the daytime to visitors. You just needed to find a spot in between all of the yachts and the tour boats. Bayfield is a quaint little town with lots of coffee shops and art stores, bookstores, smoked fish shops, which seem to be all over the place. off-road vehicle into town, which is really cool. Unfortunately, the one building that I really wanted to go into, the Bayfield Maritime Museum, was closed. You can buy this for, uh, you know, your uh, banister. Yeah. We got our own ferry.
Then it was back out to the boat to explore. And what else? Have a few more drinks. Red Cliff gets its name from, well, Red Cliffs. In doing a little research as to what's out here, I came across a shipwreck. So we set out to explore and find this spot. Turns out, after 30 minutes of searching in the wrong spot, we discovered that there was a buoy that marks the location. Hopefully nobody was watching, because boy did we look like idiots. Drinking, okay? <laughs> you sunken ship. <laughs> that is part of the ship. You just need to bring it back up out of the water. What year was that? Same. There we go. Yeah, it takes a second. Ottawa was a 151-foot tugboat built in 1881, used to rescue other boats stranded out in Lake Superior. On the night of November 29, 1909, the Ottawa caught fire, but the crew managed to escape. A good portion of the boat was salvaged most of Ottawa's hull structure is resting on the sandy bottom 12 to 16 feet below the surface. Part of the ship is still resting on the shore today. After a spectacular day like that, it was time to go back to the campsite and make some dinner. Oh yeah, that's very done. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then head out onto the lake to watch the sunset and surprise our friends with a little special treat. If you recall, the story is this. When we were at Dripless Glen, and we were talking to them about you know, Maker's Mark and, and the, um, the distilleries that helped them, yeah. and, and it was specifically about the sweet mash. Yes. Do you remember? Yes. yes. The story about... Okay. For those of you who don't know, the four of us are bourbon geeks. We love it. The history, the stories, the taste. So, of course, there has to be bourbon involved in our weekends. So... Back to the story. And there was only half a dozen distilleries in the United States that were making the sweet mash. Remember yes. when we, we looked that up? 
So, and I knew of this one, and we talked about this one before, but this one happens to be one <gasps> oh! of the hand, handful, the half a dozen, that are the Sweet Mash bourbon. And this is the Peerless, yeah, like the rye, the Peerless rye, the rye, but this is the actual bourbon, the which is super mash. hard to find. I have yes. not seen that one. Yeah. Woo! So yeah. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Bring it All on. Right. It's time, it's time to... Let's pour up. Mm -mm. You excited? I am excited. <laughs> I, yeah, I know. I'm excited about this Peerless too, small batch. So you haven't tried it yet. It I, I've, I've never tried it. Yay! Never tried it. It's for all Where's of us. Yours? New for all of us. Woo! There, Did you hear me, that? Yes. Mmm, smell that. Mm. Oh, it smells delicious. Mmm. Mm. I think it's going to be a good one. To sun, sand, repeat. Sun, yes, sand, repeat. Sun, Cheers. Sand, repeat. Cheers. 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 Mm. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. <gasps> mm. It's really sweet, cinnamony. It is very different. Oh wow, oh, spicy. It's wow. So good. It's you know what it reminds spicy. me of? Christmas in a cup. Christmas oh, it's cinnamon. delicious. It's almost mm. like a cinnamon. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah, Thumbs up good. for me. Oh yeah. yeah. Thumbs would, up for I you. I would buy that. Oh yeah. Way. Thumbs up. Definite okay. thumbs up. The next day, we set out to explore the islands, making stops along the way. And even though the camera doesn't pick it up very well, we saw a lot of bald eagles. And these three people who looked like they were on an adventure too. I was heading for this one island that I knew had a beach on it. I thought if anything we could pull the boat up and beach the boat. Turns out, it's a national park, so they actually installed a dock. And restrooms. And for those of you wondering about some cool sweeping beach drone shots of these Apostle Islands, well, in 2014 they passed a law making it illegal to fly a drone over a national park. And the penalties are steep. The islands themselves are national parks, so it was off limits, and I didn't push it. Sorry. Apostle Islands National Seashore. Got a dock here, just rolled into. Got my beer.
Well, that was the weekend. There's nothing more to say, but it was perfect. Where are we going? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Florida? Where are we? Florida or bust? Is that what you yeah. said? I think, it's something like that. I think we're rerouting. Rerouting? Syria is rerouting us yep, to Destin. Is that okay with you guys? That sounds good. I'm in. I'm good. We're gonna get some white sand. <laughs> <laughs>